Welcome to Reason to Health. We're so glad you're here. Let's chat. We're here talking about rules without relationship. So what is does that mean? What does that even what mean? What does that mean? So how about this? Like, would you imagine, can you imagine following a rule and not understanding why? Let's just refer to your exercise habits. Um, in the morning, you say to yourself, I am going to get up early and work out. And then you get up early and then, you know, you're like, you know, I'm really tired. I'm not going to do that. Or, you know what? I have 10 other things that I have to do, but it's really essential and important to you. And you feel crappy the rest of the day if you don't do it. So you form a relationship with that rule that you're getting up. So you say to yourself every morning at five o'clock, I am going to get up and you either meet somebody or you create a habit. And how do you create a habit? is you do it consistently. So that is one way to form a, um, a relationship with a rule. And you have to do the thing before you create that relationship. So it might mean taking that chance. If you've done it and it's not for you, good for you. But if you've never tried it, right. then you don't have any any relationship with that idea, with that rule, with that thought. So take boot camp tomorrow morning. Lauren will be at boot camp because yes. she hasn't been there in a little while, but that's okay because there are other important essential things that were going on. Yes, but if I'm being honest, there haven't been lately. So the problem is once you get out of that habit, you lose that relationship with the rule. So when I was going consistently, my alarm went off and I'm not saying I jumped out of bed, but I got out of bed. Um, now, even if I lay out my clothes the night before, because I have not done it in a while, it's not my habit, it's not my routine, I've lost that relationship. So it's much easier to find every excuse in the book not to do it. Think about your kids, you say you have to eat healthy food and they don't quite have a relationship with that yet. It is really hard to follow that rule. But maybe if you have spent time preparing foods with them and explaining them over and over and over again, why certain foods are, are good and help them give them energy and make them healthy and, and not feel sick, um, then they start to make that connection and they have a relationship with that good food. So. And it happens for um, grown-ups too. They're new and they say, oh my God, I feel so good and they're shocked. But they're shocked because they didn't have that relationship with healthy food before, so they didn't know. Right, and how good it can make you feel. And how crappy food, when you have a really good relationship with not so great food or processed food, that it actually, um, you don't understand how poorly it's making you feel and how poorly it's making you think. And I think the, the takeaway here is that you're more likely to follow the, the rules or habits that you set for yourself once you start to feel the changes or form a relationship with those rules. Um, so take that leap, set the rules first maybe, I mean that might be the order you have to go in, but give yourself a chance to develop that habit and develop that relationship. So think about relationships when you first get into a relationship and you're like, ooh, and then the only thing you can think about is that one person or that one relationship or that one exciting thing and you literally spend your whole like day. Could be a new series on TV. Yeah, could be a thing. It could be a series, it could be a Netflix series. It could be, but you're like engrossed in it and you just like and want to talk about it all the time. Yeah. Yes, so what we'd love for us all to do is maybe form that new relationship feeling um, with your health and get into, make those rules based around that healthy, exciting relationship. And then spread the word. Talk spread about it. Spread the and word, yes. You are, you are a light and you get to shine that light elsewhere in the world. So go get them. Thank you for showing up, taking the time to listen, and now you're rooted in time.